Alright everybody, so sometimes when I produce tips videos, I notice similar issues with a lot of people in their videos, so I'd like to get these out of the way with a general tips video. So if your videos have any of these issues, you should check this video out so that I don't have to keep repeating myself. Okay, let's begin. So there are plenty of camera issues I can go over, so let's begin with this rather common question. Can I use my phone to record? Answer, you probably shouldn't, and here's why. There's the basic problem of vertical video. If you're still making vertical videos, I'm sorry, but please don't ask me for a tips video until you've gotten at least that resolved. Vertical video is disgusting, and only stupid people realistically use it. Once you film vertically, you can't really fix it. Seriously guys, if you're filming like this, you need to stop, just stop, this looks horrible, I can't do anything about it in like editing or whatever, so now it's stuck like this, so that's great. Yeah, you see this trash? Well no matter what I do in editing, I can't fix this! And if your whole video is filmed like this, well you might as well just forget about it. Even 4x3 or 1 to 1 is better than this garbage. If you must film with a phone, Film horizontally. Seriously, if you're going to film with a phone, which I don't really recommend, film this way. Film horizontally, okay? Thank you. Now, just because I'm talking about phones doesn't mean it's a good idea to record with them, and I'll tell you why. You see, we have to learn the difference between optical and digital zoom. Optical zoom is an actual moving of the lens inside the camera. This is important in contrast to digital zoom, since with digital zoom, it can only zoom a small amount. And the computer has to basically make up details of the picture. While on low zooms like maybe 2x, it can do an okay job at this. Anything beyond that just becomes a huge mess. That's why it's best to have an actual camera, not your phone. This is what digital zoom looks like. Oh, doesn't that look great? Not grady at all! And this is a 4x zoom, so this isn't very much. So, yeah. It, it, don't do this, guys. Seriously, just, just don't. It looks horrible. Okay, and here's an optical zoom. Notice how that looks a lot better. Huh? See, look. I'm zoomed in all the way. And, like, of course, the camera isn't focusing very well, but look, that still looks decent. It doesn't look super grainy, and it doesn't have all that noise around everything, so I'd say this is a win for, you know, cameras. With newer phones, you can get away with more, like zooming in on 4K footage to about 4 or 5x in post before noticing a significant drop in quality, but that's about it. Always go for optical zoom whenever possible. Next, let's talk about handheld or tripod. I personally have always preferred handheld. However, there will more than likely be some scenes, especially if you're working alone, where you need to use a tripod simply due to lack of helpers or something. Furthermore, if you're going handheld, you need to be able to hold the camera steady. I've always enjoyed handheld for the more authentic vibe, if that makes any sense, but you can't give your viewers motion sickness. Now, in terms of shaky cam, I'd say I'm holding this pretty steadily, but what you can't do is you can't make it look like this. The, like, the, I don't know. Hey, little Sonic, how are things going? I can't hold the camera steady. Little Sonic, are you even there? No, of course he isn't. I have no friends. Anyways, but no. In all seriousness, like, you, you gotta hold things steady. Don't make it look like what I'm doing right now. If you do, it will give people, like, motion sickness or something. Like, don't, don't do this, okay? If your footage looks like this, then either redo the take until it's good, or just use a tripod. I personally don't use much in the way of lighting besides the lights in the environment I'm in. It makes things feel more natural, as it were, but do what you want, I suppose. Just make sure your lighting isn't trash or you're filming in complete dark, okay? Otherwise, that just looks bad.
screen recording. Now this should be a no brainer at this point, but it seems like I have to mention this. Do not use a camera to try and record your screen! Uh, hi guys, welcome to my, uh, my Minecraft world. Let's play. Uh, I, I, I can only play like this because, uh, I'm holding the camera with one hand. I mean, I can put it down. Like, here, watch, let me just get to this island. There, I can put it down, and now I can do this. So you can't even see the screen. Uh, here, hold on, I'll stack up some stuff. <laughs> Good. There you go. Now you can see everything. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna walk around, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna punch this sheep, which you can't even see. Oh, now you can kind of see it. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you like how out of focus it is? Here, I'll, I'll, oh, I'm zoomed out all the way. <laughs> Do you like that effect? Do you like that effect of it constantly trying to focus? <laughs> Do you enjoy this? Do you enjoy this, you people? What's wrong with you? Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop. This looks bad. Use a dedicated program for this. Don't use some of these programs like Fraps, which leave a watermark either. Seriously, just use OBS, okay? It's by far the best recording software out there, and it's free! You have no excuse! So let's begin with this. You should not edit on a phone! If you think you can edit on a phone, you're either a wizard at phone editing, or you're lying to yourself. So don't try it. DaVinci Resolve has a free version for those of you who don't want to pay for it. It's better than Movie Maker and less time consuming compared to editing on a phone. Phone editing also implies that you record it on a phone too, so, you know. Now as for exporting, I always export at 1080p 60fps. The bare minimum for YouTube right now in 2018 should be at least 720p. If you're exporting lower than that, then you've got a problem. 1080p is even better, and if you can manage to render at 2K or 4K without the render taking half an eternity, you can go for it if you want. I don't, however, do this, since none of my footage is even in that resolution, so I think it's unnecessary for the time being. But make sure you are rendering at least the source resolution and source frame rate, if not higher. What you don't want to do is film in 1080p, only to compress it down to 720p for absolutely no reason. And if you're filming at 60fps, don't render it in 30 or 24 frames per second or something, because then you're just wasting those frames. Alright, and that's about it. Make sure you follow some of these at the very least basic guidelines. Okay? Cool. And if you have any requests for tips videos, the link to that is in the description below. So, thank you all for watching and take care.